Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLSE. In this video, we are going to see about UVM factory. So before going to discuss about UVM factory and what is meant by UVM factory, how it is working. Okay. So first let us uh, see some example. Uh, let us see one requirement actually. Uh, let's say uh, in our system verlog, we have seen our system verlog test bench. We all already discussed that. Once again, I will draw it here. So this is our test and in this test we are going to have our environment and in environment we are going to have uh, basically in this particular example which I am drawing, uh, I am taking, I am going to have one driver and this driver is basically connected with my DUT. I don't have any monitor in this particular example. In this particular example I don't have any monitor for now. Okay. So this is my driver and this particular driver and here I uh, have generator also. So I have my driver as well as generator. So this ba uh, basically generator and driver here, these are connected with my mailbox. So basically this driver is being connecting, connected with my DUT and it is driving some stimulus to my DUT, okay? So in this, for, for in this particular example, I don't care about this particular DUT also. My requirement is different. Now, so let's say, in this particular example, uh, there is one packet. Uh, there is one packet, let's say, uh, it has a write transaction. So this packet is having a field which is known as data, which is of eight bits, which is of eight bits. So basically this driver is using this particular packet which is being generated by the generator. And I have one more packet, let's say it has a write underscore txn Two, which is also having a data field which is of 16 bits and let's say if my driver is driving this particular data of 8 bits using this particular packet it is uh, being driving this particular packet to this DUT this driver is driving the packet right underscore txn which is consisting of uh, 8 bits data and I have one more packet which is known as right underscore txn2 which is having a data of 16 bits. So my requirement is the driver after driving this particular packet, it has to drive the second packet is my requirement. Okay. So let's see this particular execution in the code and let us try to understand what is happening, how to implement this. So let me declare first a write underscore txn class. And now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare my RAN data logic of how many bits I need, 8 bits. So 7 down to 0, data underscore in. And I'm going to end the class. Now, uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to display also. So I'm going to use a function void display dollar display dollar display base underscore transaction data in value is uh, percentage d comma data underscore okay. and i'm going to end the function now i'm going to have a driver class so class first i'm going to create a generator class class generator uh, in this class what i'm going to do is i'm going to have the uh, instance of my write transaction class write underscore txn wtxnh okay and uh, i'm going to have a mailbox handle also mailbox hash write underscore txn generator to driver underscore mb is my mailbox name and uh, i'm going to have one new function function new it is going to expect the arguments mailbox hash write underscore tx and generator to driver underscore mb okay and uh, this dot gen to driver underscore mb is equal to gen to driver underscore mb okay 
and uh, I'm going to also create the object for this right underscore txn is equal to new and I'm going to end the function and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a task which is known as uh, send underscore packet so what it is going to do is it is going to send the packet so assert uh, my write underscore txn dot randomize so i'm randomizing the things which i'm basically randomizing my packet i'm displaying my display function write underscore txn dot display and i'm going to end uh, i'm also going to put the content put the packet in the mailbox so i'm going to use my mailbox handle so gen2 driver underscore mb dot uh, put off my write underscore transaction and i'm going to end the task and i'm also going to end the class now i'm going to create my driver class class driver and it is going also going to have one mailbox handle mailbox has write underscore tx and uh, it is nothing but gen2 driver underscore mb and this is also going to have a function new uh, which is expecting a mailbox uh, instance from the environment and write underscore txn gen2 driver underscore mb and this dot gen2 driver underscore mb is equal to gen2 driver underscore mb and I'm going to end the function and uh, in this particular driver class I'm going to have a task called drive underscore packet and this packet this uh, particular task is going to have one instance right underscore txn Uh, this right underscore so this is nothing but wtxnh wtxnh and this is wtxnh dot display okay yeah and here also wtxnh okay and here also what I'm going to do is in the in my packet uh, class right underscore txn wt xn h and i'm going to get my packet which is being sent by the generator so i'm going to use this mailbox handle dot get off wt xn h okay and uh, i'm going to display it wt xn h dot display and I'm going to end the task. Now, I'm going to create a environment class and this environment class is going to have my generator module, generator, yeah, generator, gen h, driver, drvh, okay. And I'm going to create my mailbox instance here. Mailbox hash, it is of type, right underscore txn mb okay and uh, in a function new i'm going to create my instance for my mailbox and uh, i'm going to create my instance for my generator and i'm going to pass the arguments that is something but my mb mailbox handle i'm going to pass and i'm going to create my instance of my driver and i'm also going to pass the instance of my mailbox and I'm going to end the function now so within a task which is known as run I'm going to run it so gen h dot star sorry send underscore packet and uh, drvh dot drive underscore packet And I'm going to end the task and in the class. So within a top module which is known as test, 
I'm going to create my environment handle, let's say envh and uh, within an initial bin and block, I'm going to create it. So envh is equal to new and envh dot run and uh, I will display test has been completed. Test completed. It may be a little uh, lengthy. Yeah. So basically what we are doing, we are creating a generator. We are going to create a generator and we are going to pass a packet, which is nothing but a write transaction to the driver and driver it is collecting and it is, uh, then it will drive that particular packet to the DUT. That logic I haven't written and I'm instantiating everything in the environment class. So let me save this and let me run this. Here I have missed end class and here also I should write end class. Okay, let me run this again and I forgot my semicolon. Okay, let me run this again. Here it is uh, WT XN H. Let me save this and run this. Here also DRVH. Let me save this. Yes. So we can see uh, we are getting from the base transaction the messages base transaction data in is equal to 9 and base transaction data in is equal to 9 and test completed. Now let's say as we have discussed in our requirement as we have discussed in our requirement that we need to change this from write transaction to uh, we need to uh, change it to another transaction of data 16 bits. So what I can do is I can create one more class. I can create one more class class write transaction two and uh, I can have my logic here that is 15 down to zero data underscore in and uh, here I can create a function void display and I can copy this and end the function and end the class. Now, if I want to use this particular packet, then what can I do? So wherever in my code, uh, the right transaction is present. So I can replace it by right transaction to this is one method. What can I do? Uh, this is one method which can I uh, follow for replacing my one packet with another packet. Now, so instead of doing everything, we can follow the inheritance. Uh, so what we can do is we can create this write transaction to from the base class write underscore transaction. So we can write extends write underscore transaction. Okay. And uh, here we can display this and we can write it down displaying from write underscore txn2. Okay. And here in this particular code, we need to make small changes so that our code can work. So what I'm going to do is here, uh, in this particular generator class, it will expect two arguments. One is mailbox argument and another is, so it is going to expect another argument of the write underscore transaction, transaction underscore type. Okay. So it is basically expecting this argument. Let us declare here also. So write underscore transaction, transaction type. Okay. And here, instead of creating the object, what I'm going to do in this generator class is basically I'm going to write this dot txn underscore type is equal to txn underscore type. Okay. And uh, or else what can I do is this dot or what I, what I can do is wtxnh which is already present. I can assign it to this txn underscore type this txn underscore type okay so that there will be no more changes yeah and uh, this is my generator class and uh, in my driver class here what i can do is and in my environment class uh in my function new it is going to expect one argument that is known as write underscore transaction type and transaction underscore type okay and uh, what we are going to do basically here is uh, inside this particular function new when we are calling this generator class and when we are passing this mailbox handle with the help uh, and this mailbox handle 
and we should also pass this txn underscore type and let us declare the transaction type here also write underscore transaction transaction type okay and let me assign here this dot txn underscore type is equal to txn underscore type okay now so what is happening we are basically passing this and we are going to pass this to the generator and in the test module when we are passing when we are calling this new function of our environment we are basically passing the here we should have the right transaction handle right underscore transaction txn h and let me create the object for this txn h is equal to new and i should pass this thing sorry i should declare it before this so I should pass this to my environment now, so let's see let's see what is happening let me run this yeah base transaction may, uh, is only getting printed right now here in this particular method if I want to override my second packet with the first packet then what I can do I can just simply use this right transaction to handle I will declare it in a test bench so txn h2 and uh, instead of txn h i'm going to place txn h2 okay and let me save this and let me run this first of all let me create the object for that one also txn h2 is equal to new i should create the object for this and let me run this and uh, we should also use this particular virtual keyword so that uh, our method will get overridden so if we add this particular virtual function then we are getting the right transaction to data in the, we are getting the display method from the right transaction to now so this is one of the method where we are uh, going and editing our code and we are during uh, we are so in this particular uh, method we are basically uh, going and adding our code adding our handles we are creating objects and we are manually passing the objects to this particular uh, methods and the new method we have created and we are passing them now so instead of doing this everything using simple uvm factory method we can override a packet with another packet during the runtime itself not not in the compile time during the runtime itself we can override one packet by another packet in this particular example if we want to override this particular uh, right transaction with right transaction too uh, we cannot uh, override during the runtime but during with the help of uvm factory we can simply uh, override during the runtime okay and there is no need to manually change anything in this particular code yes so this is what we are going to do in the case of uvm factory and that is what we are going to learn in the uvm factory in our next video so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about realizing Thank you for watching this video.